Hi all, welcome back. This time we're going to be introducing Paul's Depot train station, put out by a company by the name of Osborne Model Kits, Canadian company. And here you see what the packaging looks like. This is an extremely simple kit. Anybody can build it. I put it at the low end of beginner, a nice laser cut kit. Here are the directions. Exceedingly simple put together. It does come out really nice. And here's what the parts look like. A lot of detail already burned right into them. Makes for a really easy construction. Now I decided that I was going to paint this kit because it's a good sturdy plywood and I wanted to use my rattle can paint just to see how it comes out. You don't always have to have the expensive paint. The hardest part of this whole kit was masking off the areas that I wanted to have one color and not the other. And of course with the window assemblies I wanted them a single color so I got out my marks a lot and there they are. Easy peasy. Here are all the pieces ready to go. See there's not too many pieces and it's almost impossible to put this kit together wrong. Now I did want to add a little bit of color before I started construction so I got out my weathering powders and scribble scribble scribble. Be careful with these powders because they can and will get all over. Now what I like to use for glue is plain old Elmer's. In this case I just bought the dollar container of school glue. Works just fine dries mostly clear, stays flexible. Now the windows have some really nice detail to them. You do have to make sure they're in correctly, so pay attention putting the windows in. All right, moving right along, it's time to put the walls together. As I mentioned a minute ago, this kit is almost impossible to put together incorrectly. So this makes it really good for those new modelers that come into the field. Now you do want to make sure that you keep everything in place while the glue is drying. You want to make sure that the basic box is square and plumb. So use your handy helpers to hold stuff in place. The one thing that could be a little tricky are these three front pieces. The smaller pieces, there is a left and a right. And oh no, I made a mistake. Actually, every time I build a kit, I make some kind of mistake. See that little tab off to the left? Those tabs are supposed to go in the walls before the walls are solid. So I ended up having to cut one of those tabs off. I used one side and cut the other one off. Now it was a little bit challenging to get the weights, the handy helpers, to hold things together while the glue's drying. So you can see I got creative. And here's the other roof coming in. Now there are some extra little tidbits. You've got the chimney and also the control arms that you build and you install into the building but they're not too hard it just takes a few minutes to build those and here you have the finished Paul's Depot train station I wouldn't say it's museum quality by any mean but it's an easy kit for almost anybody to build this would be one of your perfect first kits so I hope you guys have fun with Paul's Depot train station as much as I did and of course send something in if you build it so I can see what you've been doing have fun. Come back and see me again sometime. Bye.